Okay, hello everyone and welcome to Introduction to Aerospace Engineering. So what is Aerospace Engineering? It is a branch of engineering that deals with design, development, building and testing of aircraft and spacecraft. Here I highlighted just a few of the projects that are going on today in Aerospace Engineering and I will talk about them a little bit more so that you could have an idea of what Aerospace Engineering is. Let's start with Airbus A380. This is the largest passenger aircraft ever built. It can carry about more than 500 people at a time. And you can see uh, the seating configuration here. So it fits 10 people in a row and also there are, it is a double deck. So you can imagine how many people can fly in one flight. Uh, it weighs around 600 tons, so you would wonder how this heavy machine can go up in the air. The answer is aerospace engineering. Next is SpaceX Dragon capsule. This is remarkable because it is the first private spacecraft to dock the International Space Station. It delivered the necessary supplies to astronauts, but SpaceX uh, is working on the next model of Dragon that will be able to deliver people to International Space Station. And you've probably heard about this one in the news. It is Curiosity Mars rover uh, from NASA. And it is a Mars Science Laboratory that will investigate the surface of Mars and find out if it's possible to support microbial life there. Uh, so you would question how this car-sized object was delivered millions of miles away and there was a seven minute communication delay. But it was still possible and is there on Mars and the answer is aerospace engineering. about this guy, Felix Baumgartner, who jumped from 24 miles above the Earth's surface. He was the first person to achieve supersonic speed, that is, the speed higher than the speed of sound. And he was not in a vehicle at that moment. So he broke a world record and achieved a speed of 840 miles per hour. Uh, what it made it possible for him is his pressurized, pressurized suit from David Clark Company, which pioneers in design and protect, protective equipment for pilots and astronauts. So one of the world records was broken because of aerospace engineering. Next is Boeing Phantom Eye. It is a reconnaissance drone. And drone means that it does not have a pilot inside. It can fly autonomously or it is controlled from ground station. And Phantom Eye is remarkable because it runs on liquid hydrogen instead of conventional fuel. So it can stay up, in, uh, liquid hydrogen is more efficient than ordinary fuel. So this aircraft can stay up in the air for four days without refueling, which makes it a pretty good deal for a defense industry uh, that can uh, make surveillance for more time now. Next one is Lockheed Martin SR-72 aircraft. Mm -hmm. In development currently, but Lockheed Martin claims that when it's ready, this aircraft will be able to achieve speed that is six times higher than the speed of sound. And in order to do that, the engines should be modified uh, should be redesi redesigned completely because conventional turbojets are not capable of achieving low speeds. And here you can see NASA's flying saucer spacecraft. Uh, it really looks like a flying saucer. And it is actually ready for its first flight, uh, but uh, weather conditions were not optimal, so the first flight test was delayed. 
but this spacecraft is designed to test heavy payload landing on Mars. And why do we need heavy payload? Because NASA hopes to put humans on Mars, and human habitation model weighs a lot. And the final project that I want to highlight today is SpaceX Falcon Heavy Rocket. in development currently, but when it's ready, it will be the most powerful rocket that was ever built after Saturn V that was used to deliver people on Moon. But SpaceX's goal is even more challenging, to put people on Mars. So Falcon Heavy will be one step uh, on achieving that goal. So I've covered just a small part of aerospace engineering, but you can see that it pushes the boundaries of impossible further and further every day. And if you decide to pursue aerospace engineering, hopefully one day you'll be part, you'll take part of a project like this. Aerospace engineering is divided into several disciplines. Uh, you cannot call yourself just an aerospace engineer. You need to have expertise in one of the fields below but also you need to know other fields so that you can communicate with other people in your team. So uh, some of the main disciplines of aerospace engineering are aerodynamics, which studies the motion of objects in the air, propulsion, which is how you choose the engine and the fuel that you want to use to push your vehicles forward. Structural analysis is how you build something that is capable of achieving the goals of the mission and that can uh, meet the requirements on the loads that will be put on aircraft or spacecraft. Material science is which materials you choose so that your mission can be accomplished. And stability and control. This is how you control your aircraft or spacecraft and make it go where it needs to go. And today we will focus on aerodynamics.